most very welcome here to the beginning of the fall season of Robert, Sarah's, and Blake from the kitchen table. I'm Robert, Sarah's, and Blake. This is the kitchen table. And we've been away. We left you back in July, and we thought we were going to be back in September. Then we thought we'd be back at the start of October, but it took us until now. I believe the last Sunday of October. That's right. Next Sunday will be the first of November. We're here, we've made it back. The kitchen table today is in David's backyard. David Peter Lofgren, the producer of the show, the technical brains that bring the music at this kitchen table, the old kitchen table. And we intend to just keep this thing going every Sunday, 5 o'clock Bellingham time, 6 o'clock Colorado time. That would make it about 7 o'clock St. Louis time. And that's right, 8 o'clock in New York City right now. We have a great guest from New York City, the one and only Tamar Korn, is going to be joining us in a little bit, so we're excited to kick off with a bi-coastal expedition on this chilly, 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 chilly Sunday October here in the most northwest corner, the most northwest city, the most northwest state, the lower 48, the most northwest corner, the most northwest state, the most northwest state, the most lower 48, the most northwest corner, the most most northwest city, most northwest state, and lower 48. Say I'm a little rusty. You take what you got, and it turns into memory. Memories all we got. You keep it like a family, you go to another place. Like an island or a century Where the leaves stay red And the morning don't come early I ride Time to turn to seed all water and all weed, all my grown garden. Returns, all pickle and preserve. And when you return, I will offer you my bird. Be 
gave it to the mass tonight because our bubble had expanded while we were on on hiatus holiday. What do you say when you stop doing the show for a month or two? We were on off season. Off season. There's quite a good return there. We were on holiday. We were on hiatus. We'll see. We'll see how the bubbles come together. We started the show when COVID hit, and here we are months later, and COVID is still very much hitting, and our hearts go out to everybody who was affected by the disease. Tell me to have the sip of whiskey. They told me what song we're doing next. And I think I got it. From an old record called Still Kissing Last Night, Smoke Stained Lips. He was waiting outside the bar for on a Monday night. She said, What are you doing here? He said, I thought I. Catch you on your way home. See if you wanted to walk. Hands went together, headed towards the dark. And this was not the first time this kind of thing went on. They had already called it off, they were already done. But I swear that I saw it. Got flowing, mixing it with tea. Glasses got empty and got on knees. I watched each other's faces when the sun lit up the sky. Head for home, headed for goodbye. Rain, she smoked a cigarette. He smoked one too And they smoked another one I guess that's what you do When it's morning and you're stalling
afraid to fail. Not afraid of freedom, I'm not afraid of going to jail. Not afraid of slavery, and I'm not afraid of choice. Not afraid of making the decision to use my own voice. But I'm afraid of you. Success, I'm not afraid to sing Hank's song. Not afraid of the darkness, and I'm not afraid of the light. Won't lie alone in my bed at night. I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's true. I'm afraid it's you. Waddell, Cork City, I like to play that song a lot. Played that at the Subdued String Band Jamboree. I hope you all were there in your own capacity, however that may have been, in the backyard or your living room or however you enjoyed the Jamboree. We and Jam for the Joy Boree ourselves and had the great Jake Jolliffe playing with us for that set along with Aaron Harmonson. And Jake will be our guest in two weeks. Not sure who our guest is going to be next week. Figuring that out. Um... Let's see if we got anything in Comet Land. What's going on out there? Is anybody around? Henry, Samantha, we got uh, any of the regulars on the scene there, David? Yeah, let's see. Uh, a lot of regulars. Good look at that. Henry St. Clair is happy to have Henry. you back. Janelle Sweeney saying Janelle. Rosemary so Morrison, close, but so Nelson. far. Stephen Blair is in the house. Kimberly Sabin from the great north. New York she's, corner. She's from Buffalo, the most right. northeast corner of North New York North. State. <laughs> Kathy Wilson, Chris Collinsbridge, uh, Terry Borneman, Donna Blake. There's all, nice. all of our friends are here. Nice. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for, for being here with us as we get going in this chilly time. We're figuring it all out. We're, we're, we have an have indoor situation in mind, but right now we're in the garage. Uh, it's a hard week here at Bellingham. We lost one of our very dear friends, Della. Della Mustacha. Nobody knows her last name. Because she created her own. And she created her own world. She brought us into it, made our worlds better. Great circus performer here in Bellingham. If you've been to the Jamboree any time in the last 15 years, you might have seen her in an elephant costume or some other wonderful costume doing some wonderful skit. A sketch. She was a very thoughtful, very entertaining performer and uh, died in a car accident uh, one week ago and we are mourning her here in Bellingham. So I'm going to play a couple songs for us as we deal with the loss of the one and only Della. Dave's got some photos we're going to roll. I'm going to play a song by Aeneas Mitchell and then do one of my own. You were dead 
when they found you on the floor of your apartment, you were dead, and your drum set sat there shining, shining like stage lights, shining like your eyes, oh shining like old eyes. small time back in Austin where the drummers are all poor you were rocking out this dive bar there were bottles on the floor and a couple lonely people the bartender and I remember what it is to be alive Hey, O'Brien, it's falling, catch him if you can. Hey, O'Brien, it's falling, amen, amen, amen. Were you dreaming of the big time? Fell out on the floor. Could you see the velvet curtain and the silver microphone? Could you hear your own heart beating? Could you hear it beat slow? Could you hear your own heart playing rock and roll? Hey, Orion. Him if you can, hey, Orion, he's fallen. Amen, amen, amen. Grand Parsons in a hotel, but he all the old plane and you. In your apartment With your drum set Shine and shine Like stage lights Shining like your eyes Shine like Orion in the night Hey Orion, it's falling Catch him if you can What did you see? Did you see yourself floating up off and away? Did you see your broken body behind you? Did you see yourself on the stage? What did you feel? Did you feel yourself lifting? Out from all under below Did you feel the push of wind on your skin sending you to distant shores to the back of your lover's minds? What did you say? Was there time for saying what you wanted said? And did you already say it on the stage? Did you get it out of your head? To the back We 
you walk around and don't really say much hard to find words to say we make our peace but we don't believe it the fist you were taken away to the back For our friend Della, she will be missed very deeply for a very long time. It would be a strange jamboree without the great Della Mustache here performing for us and making our lives a little brighter. Oh, we got Tamar Corn coming up in a little bit, but we'll play a few more songs until then. And so glad you're with us from the kitchen table here. Tune up, the cold has hit the, a little bit of wood and a little bit of wire. Call up smoke in the bear because it's gonna be a fire. And if I ain't sweating, it ain't no fun. It's like the Beastie Boys, except I'm only one. That's a handle on trial right there. Clearly, we're two, you know. <laughs> Listening to a lot of Planksty. The autumn's a nice time for this movie. Planksty. Irish band. Made records in the 70s, primarily into the 80s. But they're all still alive making music now. Andy Irvine, Liam O'Flynn, Donna Looney, and Christy Moore. It's the first tune on their first record. Lots of people do this tune. You find lots of musicians doing this tune. You know, there's lots of different songs that could be sung, these old songs that got passed around and hung around. But you see, this one's very popular because in this song here, the, uh, the woman leaves the rich man in favor of the musician. So musicians tend to like this one. There were three old gypsies came to our old house. Came so brave and bold, the old. One sang high, the other sang low, they sang the rainbow table gypsy. What she gave to them a glass of wine. She gave to them some bread. Gold ring the lady wore, she gave to the red table gypsy. Blows upstairs, downstairs, the lady went. Put on a boat, splendor. All the songs the servants sang, just wave the red table gypsy. Saddle for me by milk white steed. The horse is not so sweet. I will ride to seek my bride's way with a wrinkle tangled chip seal. North and south also Till he came to an old field There spies the lady Oh, why do you leave your house and land? Why 
get left behind. And if there's a breeze on a warm spring morning, birds of your warmth and twine with mine, I'll take it. Keep it. When a murder of dark days leads down our gate. Wake in the half light, bird sing summertime. Ah, yeah. feeling good here. Is tomorrow ready to come on? We don't know. Do you know? It's uh, well, it's five thirty. Looks oh, like we'll play a few more then. She's not in front of the camera yet. I am happy to announce that William Kurtz Gerald. Is in the house. All right, Billy. We were worried about you. Made it. Is anybody buying shots out there or what? He offered them to Clay, but I don't know if Clay's here. Oh, okay. All right. That's. We're going to be worried if we don't see Clay over the next few weeks. We're going to have to send out a. Uh, uh... Oh, we'll call the police. We'll call the police. That's going to be the thing to do. Uh, so we'll do a couple more, and then tomorrow's on. We'll do a few more tomorrow. Be on, yeah. Tomorrow, Corn came out and joined us. The last time we had a real, actual jamboree back in 2019. We sure hope we'll see her again out here on the West Coast. Once people are moving around, but I hope everybody's been getting their reading done with all this time at home. I have not been getting my reading done. But I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm be getting my, my reading done later on. I've been doing some house remodeling projects that have worn me out, worn me down. So when I go to the evening time, I go right to bed without an hour at the book. Hey. Oh yeah, we're just wondering what we're gonna do here. That's what's happening right here. I might do something kind of jazzy, you know, to sort of set the scene for the one and only tomorrow corner. Kind of jazzy. The kind of would be just as important as the word jazzy in describing something I'm going to do. But yeah, I think we'll do something kind of jazzy. Well, let's just jazz up this intonation a little bit before we go all the way into the tune. Can't play kind of jazzy on a bow or on a 
about people think that, but not the people who watch this show. That's right. We have uh, the world's finest kind of jazzy Balron player on the gig today, as we do every Sunday. Watching you from the back of the room, the night's low, shabby, drab, and gray. Oh, I'm watching you from the back of the room, trying to figure out something to say. And the motive was such authority, I can't tell but be moved. Low from the hallway to the living room, this crowded college party, this crowded college town. You're the only one I see Oh, I'm watching you from the back of the room Night's low, shabby, drab, and gray I'm watching you from the back of the room Try to figure out something to say I came around as the sun was going down I stayed a while and then went on my way I came back around Saw you in the corner Now I'm hanging out And I'm hoping you'll come closer And everyone's having a good time Not thinking much at all As usual, the parties in the kitchen and the hall This crowded conversation This void of any feeling Little be it said Here is a word believing And I Back of the room, nights alone, shabby, drab, and gray. I'm watching you, back of the room, try to figure out something to say. Stopped and the cake ran out an hour ago. I'm not really staying as much as I'm not leaving. You're still here and I'm still believing. You're watching me from the corner of the room. Your hands in your pockets, hard wrapped in a loom. And the crowd in collage of things you can see. You can't help. But think of me, oh, I'm watching you back of the room. Night's low, shabby, drab, and gray. Oh, I'm watching you back of the room. Try to figure out something to say. Oh, something to say. Oh, something to say. called the high wide and handsome band it's been well it's about time to record the second high wide and handsome band album and it's been that it's been about time for 10 years but we just haven't gotten there yet but we're going to get there and at first i thought oh, oh, COVID's gonna be a great time to get some recording done but it's like well not really unless unless you're doing everything different and i like to get people in the same room as we all know and uh so it has not been a good time for recording me. Some people are pulling it off, and you see they're all in their own little rooms and everything. And uh, I, I may get there myself because I've got half of a record recorded, and I've got many records in the 
these books that I can keep moving around and keep scribbling down in. So I got, I got songs I got to record. This week, I have not played a gig since February. I played a gig to four people who are on one side of the campfire. I was on the other side of the campfire, about 10 to 12 feet between us, with a fire in the middle. And they requested this song, and I and I knew it well enough to get through it. You know, it's, it's uh, a beautiful tune that a lot of people know. So it's it's not like one of my songs where when I make a mistake, it's kind of you know maybe felt but not heard. When I make mistakes on well-known songs, it's heard. Um, we're not making a record today. We're just hanging out on Sunday afternoon from the kitchen table. And it's cold. It's going to be warmer tomorrow. We are having a very premature cold snap here. But it's October. It should be cold. A little bit. Leaves are falling that autumn. Colors red and gold, they set us on fire. Like moonbeams in our eyes. Somebody said they saw me swinging the world by the tail of lines of no white clouds. Me to leave you. Set out on my own and gave what I need. You asked me to find what I already had. Somebody said they saw me swinging the world by the tail, bouncing over clouds. I'm guilty of something I hope you never do Because it's nothing It's sad and losing yourself in love Somebody said they saw me Swinging the world by the tail Bouncing over the dark clouds I was killing the blues It's always been drinking again. Last time I saw her out of the town, she had all four sheets in the wind. At first I was afraid to join the parade, but soon enough I joined. Somebody said they saw me swinging the world by the tail, bouncing over dark clouds. It's always been drinking. It's always been drinking. It's always been drinking. Go and 
for six or seven months now. There's these places we want to go, but we cannot go. We cannot go. We want to go, we cannot go. We just have to stay home a little longer. Stay home a little longer. Keep it safe. We gotta stay home a little longer. Keep it safe. We want to go, we cannot go. But I'm just imagining about a year, you know, half a year, a year, something like that. There's gonna be some really good parties, some really, really good parties. And I was chatting about this and came to the conclusion with some friends that what followed the flu in the, what is it, 1918, David? What followed those two years? I'm looking forward to the Roaring Twenties. I'm just going to stay home for a while, everybody. Eat well, get your rest, do all the things that you don't normally have time to do because the Roaring Twenties are coming in about a year. About a year, the Roaring Twenties are going to come in. There's going to be really good parties. Good parties in Brooklyn. There's going to be good parties in Louisiana. There's going to be good parties even right here in the most northwest corner, the most northwest city, the most northwest state. In the lower 48, there's so many places you want to go. We talk about it again and again. But the place we are I see that my friends are on the other side of the line. David Bender Lofgren has enabled me with this technology here, so I'm, 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 uh oh, I might be in trouble. David, I think this means I'm in trouble. No, you're fine. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's going great over here with the technology. And we have all the way from Brooklyn, make her feel welcome at her second time from the kitchen table. That is Tamar Korn. <laughs> can you hear me all right still? We can hear you. We can see you. The red shirt looks great. Albany, what a treat! Hey, good to see you. What a treat! Man. I, I follow you on, on, on Facebook and uh, you either got married or used the married function on Facebook to promote a gig. I, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What did you do? Just another pandemic engagement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the name of your new record. Yeah. So it's a treat that, that to get two for one here. So uh, you're, you're living in Brooklyn. Yeah. And, and you leave the house? <laughs> I'm just talking about that. Yeah. You're thinking about it sometime in the next month or two, leave the house? In, in the summer, we've, I mean, in the warm moments, which have starting to dwindle, We've been okay. There's been some gatherings. Actually, I've seen Jefferson Hamer a bunch at some of like the little peer gatherings for some... We've been able to drink in public. That's a positive thing. <laughs> part. And so as long as the yeah. weather's nice and there's a lot of, you know, circulating... Yeah. We should do the Breeze song first. Yeah, that's sure. good. <laughs> well, just kick right into it. You got a song, then just kick right into it. We'll chit chat later on. I breeze, and then I, I, my brain awakened, and I remembered that yeah. we know a song called um, "Breeze." You blew my gal away. It's a sad tale. It's sad, sad tales are welcome. You know, the breezes bring, bring, bring change, bring newness. That's true. 
And uh, Sometimes the breeze blows in a new gal. And we like the breeze these days because it keeps us safe. So we're talking about getting a chimney in the backyard and finding out whether that's okay in Brooklyn. <laughs> and so that maybe we'll have, you know, a source of yeah, fire yeah. around which we can Better play. to ask for forgiveness than permission, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. How so, I yeah. live. That's our philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's hear the breeze from you then. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right back in the twenties, just like, uh, just like your allusion to, uh, to um, the parties we shall that shall ensue as uh, we're able to gather again. Is this a new guitar, Albany? This is my new baby, my Kalamazoo. <laughs> Sorry, our glory of love. Let's do glory of glory. Love. Yeah, here's a sing along. Can we do it in D? Mm -hmm. If I'm in key, I mean tune. Here's a sing along the glory of love and life. Is that good enough? 
not really huh please i think this guy needs a little sharper We've got to give a little. I'm totally in a different key. Huh? <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty odd too. But I'll just. Why don't we just sing it, and I'll just be in your key, or your. You want me to play guitar and you not to play guitar? <laughs> here, I'll do. Here. So, anyways, so um, tell a story. <laughs> I there's a story I I must tell, and it which one. Do you want to ask me a question about life right now? <laughs> um, we're now, this is Charlie Chaplin. It's a silk screen from Cuba. I got it back in 2003. I went in the sanction trip and he's smiling down upon us all. I feel like it's a really good moment to watch The, the Great Dictator. Um, Yes, that's a thing. And um, I uh, recently brought my grandparents' furniture to our home, which feels good. I don't know if this is particularly interesting material. I love it. You love I it? love it. I love you all of it. You don't see it, but Bobka the cat is sitting over on that chair. And we now we have a shout out from Tacoma from our um, new roommate Johanna who is a midwife and came to um, do midwifery at the birthing center in Brooklyn, which is the only one in the city. And um, she's awesome. We're happy to have Washington State air, yes, spirit, she's... spirit breeze through. She's definitely <laughs> brought a lot of joy to us. Speaking of support. Thank you. For... You're welcome. Okay, one more time. We've got to give a little, take a little, let it poor hearts break a little. That's the story of it. That's the glory of Gotta win a little, lose a little, have to lose a little. We gotta win, win a little, lose a little. We gotta have those blues a little. That's the story of and that's the glory of love. As long as there's a few of us, as long as there's a few of us, we got the world and all its charms. We got the world and all its charms when the world is through with us and when the world is through with us we got e we got each other's arms we gotta laugh we gotta cry till the clouds roll by <laughs> bomb 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 we got to laugh <laughs> a little
to the mess. <laughs> we got the world in all its charms when the world is through. When the world is through with us. <laughs> we got each other's arms. Oh, we've got to laugh a little, cry a little, until those clouds roll. That's the story of and that's the glory of that's the story of and that's the glory of that's just the story of and that's just the glory of love and life and that's all I don't know if it was worth it for me to play the tenor on that Felt good Absolutely. for me. I rather enjoyed it when you played that tune. It makes me feel nice when you, nice when you enjoy my good music. Remedial guitar. <laughs> it's not that remedial. Really? It's more chords than I know on the tuba. <laughs> oh I'm glad we covered that. <laughs> okay. I love it. So we got a three tune stretch or a four tune stretch. So let's do a Yiddish swing tune. I don't think I did this last time. I'm pretty sure. Definitely didn't do it with chords. So here we go. Mm. There shall be a translation. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
folks think that all that counts are their diamonds and their pearls. Let them all keep searching, let them all keep chasing, but as far as I am concerned, I can live without all that if happiness is I. My own dominion is how I deal with my feelings. feelings. That wasn't the translation, but I'm at liberty. And now back to the regular programming because everything is well rehearsed when I do it. Bum, 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 bum. A little sun, a little rain. Call the quiet place to lay your head down. You have your health. Lucky stars. You got a shoe, a sock, clothes with no patches, a little change to buy what's lacking. You have your health, then thank your lucky stars. The air is free for rich and poor. The sun shines bright for everyone. You just have to open. Open, open your door. A little fun, a little laughter. A drink with friends, a high, more fun than after. A big gesund, can men glick lach, nor a gesund is men glick lach. A big gesund, can men glick better my life was Albany moved in in July and I've been a lot happier of a camper. Good. <laughs> yes. Feeling mutual. Darling. Beautiful. I think you should do another one now. Okay. Or, or do you need a pause? Sure. Yeah, do another one. It sounded so good. Cool. Yeah, yeah we have a yeah. few. We have a lot. Could do either Lonesome and Sorry or we could do one of the we the people dancing the devil away ones. Let's do loads and sorry. Yeah. Yes. Good idea. Change of the feet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tune that was um, recorded by the great early New Orleans jazz guitarist Johnny St. Cyr and banjoist. When did Lily Del Christian record it? Because that's the recording I learned it from. Yeah, it's that's he, it's him and her. Oh, and Jimmy I Noon. always thought she was a guitar player. No, I don't. I mean, not that I know of, but she could have been. That makes sense that Johnny Saint Cyr was playing. Yeah, yeah okay. so it's just Johnny Saint Cyr and a singer named Lily Del Christian, and Jimmy Noon, the great clarinetist. And they made just a few tracks together, and it's like just guitar, clarinet, and voice, and it's so swinging and so delightful. Yeah. Um, really incredible, cool. inspiring stuff. So this is a tune that they recorded, I think, the late 20s, maybe 28. I just totally made that number up. Mm. <laughs> it's a lot of happened in 28 it's for the recording. That's true. It's like safe guess. So, this is Lonesome and Sorry. Cheerful number. A cheerful number. I miss you more each 
strangers arms again on stage and solitude the blues of you I'll send this one back over to Brooklyn there they just kind of put me in the mood to do that tune and uh you know, they're, they're, they have a sad lyric, but it's an awfully peppy number, and I, I just drove this thing right into the ground there. But, you know, <laughs> I live in a very rainy place, and we're moody people here, so that's what we do. Back to you. <laughs> we, we're we glad you brought things back down, because we also want to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also... <laughs> yeah, we have our, our fair share of, of the old quarantine blues. Yeah, right sometimes here. we overcompensate with cheer. Our cheer is out of control. <laughs> what are you drinking over there in Brooklyn but, tonight? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm drinking some stout. <laughs> oh, you have an Amaro. I'm That's some really Amaro. nice. I love Amaro. Oh, check out this. It's everywhere. It's so I'm really steadily turning into a, an Italian grandpa. Yeah. That's my yeah. life goal. Okay. That's really why I moved to New York. Just um, to hone in on the, the Italian grandpa vibes. I said, so, oh, beautiful, beautiful label. <laughs> are, 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 there's many different kinds of Amaro, right? Just like there's many kinds of Cabernet. I mean, Amaro is uh, yeah. not a brand. It's a stock. It's like it's a, a tincture, really. Yeah, it's a it's tincture. It's like an herbal. Old like a herbal. digestive. Yeah. It's low alcohol, a uh, nice bitter taste. This is very bitter. I like that. Yeah. I so it's so cool that that Albany turns up here. So, uh I I know Tamar from showing up in New York and then finally I'd seen her sing many times and then one time we were both walking down the street and we started talking Sean to people Cronin on the way to the gig that Tamar started. I, I you're part of the crew that started that. Yeah. Is that fair to say? That is fair to, very yeah. fair to say. Well, let's be fair. I want to be fair, you know, cuz uh I agree. Yeah. Words are important despite <laughs> some people's yeah, yeah, right. uh, actions. So I, I know exactly uh, when Tamar and I met, and I know loosely where and when I first saw her sing. But it's uh, two summers back at the, uh, there's this great camp in Port Townsend called uh, Voice Works. And I ran into yeah. Albany, and both of us went, I know you, and we, it took us a while to figure it out. We, we both know that we met each other at the Curve of Oak Festival, but that's as all I can remember. I mean, we, we, I, if there's more to the story that you remember and you haven't told me because it's embarrassing, I appreciate that. <laughs> but mostly I just know that, I was like, this person is familiar to me, but I can't yeah. place it. And then we decided, we figured out it was Kerrville. And so uh, it's just such a pleasure to have you keep coming around in my world and you were booked for the Jamboree this past year until the Jamboree turned into a television show which <laughs> here I am I'm in TV now I didn't ever I don't even have a TV but now I'm in the TV business so that's just a long <laughs> a long well, intro to say happy to see it and uh, oh take it man. away it's so great to see you even if from afar from this tiny TV screen and um I was really looking forward to the jamboree, of course, as we all were. And uh, way to be a trooper and put this together for everyone. To I know a lot of folks are enjoying the live streams from home, because everyone's just at home. So, but yeah, so I I moved to New York last November, uh, three months before the pandemic. <laughs> to uh, get the full experience. Um, yeah, and I guess, yeah, I did meet you at Kerrville and I don't remember any of the d details, but so many of the details of the Kerrville Folk Festival are indeed foggy to me <laughs> for reasons unbeknownst to me. Uh, <laughs> you spent 18 also... days in a row sleeping two or three hours a night and it's yeah. consistently 100 degrees out. Yes. That's what I'm going to blame. <laughs> yeah, blame the heat for sure. <laughs> but I think I was also, I was like, uh, may have been 16 
because I that was the year the first year I went out there by myself. Okay. Wow. My folks kind of took me out there, and that's how I got into songwriting when I was like wow. ten. Um, Did you then, ever know banjo jam? Possibly. Huh. Wow. Um, yeah, I, Did I you totally. Know him? No. Uh, we'll cover that later. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not interesting if I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, what a beautiful festival. I know they're also trying to do the, I think they did a live stream version of the Kerbal Folk Festival. Hoping those guys can hang in there as well. Oh, they'll hang in there. They've been there, they're 50 years in. They got, you know, they they, they, they had to tell people not to come very actively. You know, it's just wow. like, it's like all the molecules in people's bodies have been so used to going to that ranch for all these years. It's like, do not come. This means you <laughs> do not mm -hmm. come to Kerrville. Mm -hmm. right, give us a tune or give us a thought. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bow out and uh, pass the baton. Okay. Let's Thanks. play your tune, no? Yeah. Play this an is, original. Yeah, this is an original of mine um, that is about the Mississippi River. I started writing it after a trip to Davenport, Iowa to play at the Bix Festival. Um, which also has a river named the Mississippi, which is kind of a crazy thing, but apparently it's the same river <laughs> as they have in New Orleans. You mean it's the Mississippi River? Yeah. Okay. It's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes up to Minnesota. I, I know. went up to the headwaters. I didn't time. even know. I didn't realize. I had no idea. That's such a I mean, it has to like be somewhere else besides New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And then I, I went back to New Orleans after that gig and um, where I was living at the time and was just kind of reflecting on um, the power of the river, um, which was at flood stage at the time. It was like walk down to the levee and it's, you know, within feet of coming over the levee of cresting. Um, kind of, wow. you know... Um, such an incredible history of, of the history of uh, jazz going up the river on the river boats. Louis Armstrong played on those river boats and many, many others. Um, yeah. I think Johnny St. Sue did as well play on the. Uh, it seems like all of the early jazz. Cats it was like ones. having a brunch gig. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, just way like... better, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, um, I have, I've written many a song inspired by that body of water and this is one of them my Where's friend it? ben poster kind of cut his teeth on like the last leg of the river boat gigs they they still happen oh they do oh yeah wow. okay yeah i've played a few gigs on um the creole queen and the natchez that's the good one <laughs> that's the good gig that's awesome. <laughs> yeah so it's it's a beautiful thing this is called Whatever We May Find.
lost in the tide. I heard her sing so tenderly in by my side, like a lonesome melody. Are we wasting our time? If you're going to write a song about the Mississippi, you better have a bridge. <laughs> Which, um, I do have a song about the Mississippi, and it doesn't have a bridge, and I didn't realize that until now. Um, wow, that was just beautiful. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, there's no... We, you two started... Well, you started talking about... I said, well, I know what I'm doing next. This is another song I was talking earlier, how in 2000, I made a record called The High, Wide, and Handsome Band which was full of my songs that I consider my GB songs, general business. Songs that you can play on a gig when someone may or may not be listening, or maybe something they can even dance to. Uh, unlike my other material, which you would not play on a gig unless someone was listening, because it would just not, you know. So I uh, have a whole second album of GB songs, and this is this one is uh, tried and true. If anybody out there is listening, like... Uh, Terry and Jennifer, or, or Jeff and Carol, who were both a block away from our broadcast station. Sometimes in the summer they'd come and listen to us here, but they are staying home more safe. If you, I, I've been playing Happy Hour every Thursday in the summer for 20 years, and this song is a, is a stalwart of the Happy Hour set. And it will be the hit single, I'm sure, off of the second High, Wide, and Handsome Man album. Where were we now? Well, I went swimming in the mighty Mississippi Down in Arkansas My baby went down to the river bay She took her clothes off I took mine off too and I jumped right in Swam in the water brown We went swimming in the mighty Mississippi Was nobody else around Mississippi, down in New Orleans, the 
water there, so brackish brow. When you get out, you do not feel clean. But there's nothing like sitting there and watching that old muddy river roll. In the land of the Creole Bell, where the crawfish got sold. Mississippi to another. Thanks for dancing. <laughs> Pretty cool. Lake ah, Minnehaha. Yeah. Which, which great lake is Lake Minnehaha? It's not a great lake. It's not well, a great lake. Well, it, it, it may be, but Minnehaha Falls me. is the waterfall that separates the Twin Cities. Right. Arguably right. where the river begins. I was told that by my father, Peter Blake, but then he has since commented that when I've said that, that I'm wrong. So there's Did he great, come dis there? yeah, great dispute My even within too. the family. Really, My dad's mom's from, from Minneapolis. Yeah, dad's from Hopkins. Oh what? yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, is your mom from <laughs> uh, Minneapolis? Is she from the Burbs or what? Mm -hmm. She grew up around Lake Harriet. Lake Harriet. And um, uh, as she says, she she was born on the shores of Lake Lake Gitchigumi. Which is, which is, yeah, um, that is, a, that is a great link. That is a, what the hell? Yeah, Gordon Lightfoot references that. In Wait, the what's record. the great lake we're talking about? Uh, Why is Lake Superior. Lake Superior, thank you. I mean, I'm yeah, winging that, but that's a really good guess. It's a very good guess. Yes. And if I I'm wrong, we'll, we'll hear about it in the comments. No, it's, it's Lake Superior. And if I'm wrong, tune in next week, and if someone's right, they get a prize. It's Lake Superior. <laughs> so do we have one or two more because that will dictate what take two means. more two more this is two such, more? such a pleasure such a pleasure yeah. yeah this is a pleasure thank you for having me and thereby us yeah, yeah. and you were asking how the summer was because we sort of uh talk, the last time i you and i talked was on at the kitchen situation earlier. The kitchen. When was it that you were a guest in Kitchen Table? Was it, it was July? about three months ago. Okay, so you were towards the end of season one and at the very right. top of season two. To Mark yeah. Gordon. Integral, integral at the kitchen table. <laughs> to Mark, the, uh, the, the audience wants to know who your guest is that is playing this, with This you. is, yeah, this is Albany Faletta. Albany with an I E at the end instead of a Y and Faletta double L double T.
A L O oh, oh look <laughs> Thank you. Do you have records out? Yeah, no? um I do. I, I have three albums under my own name, um, with a swing band that I used to play with in Austin. Those albums are under all the Queen of the Fellas. Or you can okay. just look up my name and I've everything's on Bandcamp. Okay. I also have a solo album. Nice. Oh wait, it's it's backwards, I'm sure. It's no, it's album. well I don't know. No, it's it's forwards for us. <laughs> it's forwards? Yep. <laughs> Good work. Um Albany, at one point in quarantine, I saw you were with uh, Joelle Leger, and you had a quarantine crew in Louisiana, of yeah. which I was like extremely jealous. Everybody else is locked down at home, and you and Joelle are playing tunes every night. <laughs> yeah, well, um, the Savoy family was, I was so, wow, I, I live a charmed life. <laughs> 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 they were. Um, so as New York was shutting down, and it was, you know, Cuomo and de Blasio were bickering over whether or not to do the shutdown order. I fled, you know, I just couldn't imagine being boxed up in my apartment for that long. For who knows how long it was going to take. It was before right. she moved into this house. Yeah, so I, I fled to the to Eunice, Louisiana, went home and uh, ended up sharing a house with a friend out there in the middle of nowhere. For three months, that was like my pandemic that they were my uh, my pod. The Savoy yeah. family was my pod for three months. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. I, I just, you know, I really, I've known those guys for about maybe seven years since I moved to New Orleans. Um, I started going out there to the Mardi Gras run and, um, and you Black Pot Cajun. Festival. And, yeah, I mean, I have Cajun family who are from Alexandria. But, well, so I know you have something else scheduled uh, to play, but maybe it gives a little blast of something Cajun. And then go <laughs> on with the uh, formally organized program. Oh, man. I, w I really wish I could. I'm, like, yeah, ashamed. Geron didn't end up coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm ashamed that I can't, I can't oh. really bust out any Cajun songs yet. That's part of my inspiration of hanging out with those guys yeah. for months. You know is, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed to even I don't want to try it's going to be like I have brought shame to my people <laughs> but, but yeah uh, God, those guys are just so they're just into all the greatest music and they play you know you know those guys are, it's, are Cajun royal we had uh, Joelle and Jesse played the Jamboree maybe year 6 or 7 so that means 2006 or 7 and uh, had Caleb's, uh, it was when they did the Cajun Country Revival, that record came out. So it was basically Caleb Clowder's band backing up Jesse yeah. and uh, Joel. And like, nobody in Bellingham, not, to say nobody's strong, but let's just be honest, nobody in Bellingham had ever even heard Cajun music. <laughs> and it's in French and it's like, you know, I was wondering how, it was, I was a little bit nervous Actually, even I love it. I've been such a fan of uh, Louisiana music, of, of uh, Cajun music. Um, I don't know how I got into it. I, th I did as a teenager. I'm not, I'm no expert, but I, my love is pure. I, uh, so I was, you know, I was like, yeah, let's. I know I love it, and I don't care if nobody else loves it. I'm gonna love it. I'm telling you, two songs in the whole audience was a foot off the ground. Everybody <laughs> was just like <sighs> floating, and uh, Jesse says. This make this puts me in the mood for a beer, and uh, all of a sudden there's like seven beers are placed right in front of him on the stage. <laughs> Playing so puts cool. me in the mood for a beer. It was awesome. I want to hear that in Jesse's voice right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, sing us something. I uh, what have you got? Yeah. What? Which? Uh, what were you thinking? You want to do Eyes of the World? Sure. Let's see. Here's a song. Total traditional Cajun song. <laughs> <laughs> we won't say, you probably know it, but I, I love it. I kind of didn't learn it from its source, and I won't say where it comes from until later. <laughs> I learned it from a friend. There, there, you. 
You could do a Cajun two-step to this. Except for the major <laughs> seven. <laughs> that chord, if you play it in Cajun country, you will, you're liable to be injured by beer bottles. Projectile style. <laughs> no violence, please. <laughs> you know, you know, how it goes out there. Gotta be tough. <laughs> Now 
Love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, um, uh, I'm, I have a side project called Hunter Gracias, so I'm as well digging into the great work of those two songwriters in collaboration. Cool. And, you know, it, 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 you, in the 90s when I was in high school, if you were the Grateful Dead, like that puts you in a whole category over here. And now I feel like that's over. That period of division is over. And sure. all kinds of people are doing dead tunes and um, and for good reason I mean they're not really doing Bobby tunes but they're doing Hunter Garcia <laughs> Robert Plant Robert Hunter tunes that was Hunt the Robert Hunter one. yeah Hunter Garcia right I mean maybe I'm wrong if the Hunter Hunter alone I, well oh, we all well, know somebody yeah. who knows everything about yeah. the Grateful Dead we could ask about that yeah but that I was, also go ahead I was just gonna say that I got introduced to that song by, you know how like you need a gateway sometimes for things and because there was such a kind of cloistered scene uh, that's so like, if, you know, it, the amplification of like the scene it makes you be like, I don't know exactly what that's about. And I didn't, my, my parents were sort of absent in the 70s they were both in Israel um actually but um and I didn't grow up with much recorded music at all to tell you the truth but then I had like my gateway people that were just mindful musicians who were very cogent <laughs> and that, they introduced me to the songs that I love that's one of my favorite lines of any song I know is sometimes the songs that we hear are just songs of our own because there's very few songs that I've written and yet I feel like like if you find a good song it's speaking the truth of your soul even if you didn't write it yourself absolutely yeah uh, learning songs is, is uh, if not as important a close second to my life's work of writing songs big time mm -hmm. yeah. um, love learning songs uh, I, but I'm going to play one now uh, that I wrote, and then you have one more, and then I think the show's going to be over. So I hope everybody's having as much fun as we are, because we're having a great time here. Uh, this song was, I went out to New York, flew out on maybe the 3rd or 4th of March, and uh, it was just, everything was coming down, and uh, recorded this tune with my band in, um, in Marlboro, New York, upstate New York, in the Hudson Valley. And uh, was going to release it to support the Bernie Sanders campaign. By the time I got home from that trip, there was no more Bernie Sanders campaign. Uh, and so now I haven't known what to do. I thought I would release it around the Democratic Convention to sort of give a boost to all progressive candidates. And uh, I ended up remodeling my house because I'm moving into my house. And so I've just been, uh, head has been in, in, in a different place altogether. But now... The brilliant idea was given to me, and this song will be released for Joe Biden's inauguration in January. So, yeah. just finally, get a vision together. Children's grandchildren 
will inherit the earth and sun. We'll use our 2020 vision to leave it cool for everyone. We're all on the same ship. I smell water rising. All hands on deck, cutting cord. I see a new sunrise. Cause I'm born to win. I'm born to win. Well, so I'm trying to stay to the Golden Gate. Lake State to the Bluegrass State, born to win, born to win. Tax that's gold and wealthy, food stamps cut from the poor. After 40 years of trickle down, I could let them trickle us anymore. And still we persist. Still we persist. And still we persist. We can all be sleep in one bed, only sit in one chair. I see too many people living on the streets, and I have to help billionaires share. Cause I'm born to win.
Yeah, yeah. Those are great lyrics, man. Thank I've you been very much. trying to find all the songs that fortify our decency and spirit and sense of unity. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and um yeah, I like Eyes of the World because it's sort of like we all have our dominion to we all have power in how we see the possibilities and and I hear that song as let's let's find the intersection of all wills that that's good for everyone and I think this is going to be a a time of of just really holding to to decency and communication and 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 we we've got a long way to go but the next song is exactly about that about the uh road that we are walking and it's Leonard Cohen's Democracy. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll just give it a shout out for everyone listening. Of course, uh, with the money coming into the, the old tip jar will be split up between all of us. So please put a few bucks in the jar and we'll be sending that uh, money all the way over to Brooklyn there. And thanks to all of our viewers. Uh, you wow, keep cool. keep for yourself, right? Yeah, we're split up between all of us. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't you worry Good. don't you worry about me i mean i don't want to take it yeah yeah i gotta get my own bottle of amaro you know <laughs> tomorrow for everybody everyone's gotta eat amaro yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah this has been a pleasure yeah thank robert you so much. And, and dave hearing you play and con convening so great to see you guys out there still making it happen. We're freezing our buns off here, to tell you the truth. But, oh, um, you know, you're warming our hearts. <laughs> Likewise. We're about to be freezing our buns off. Yeah, we're any day now, we're like, it's coming. Winter <laughs> is coming. And like, we're kind of milking the last of the warm weather well, for all it's worth. Speaking of what's coming. It's coming through a hole in the air From those nights in Tiananmen Square It's coming from the field But it ain't exactly real Or it's real But it ain't exactly fair From the wars against disorder From the sirens night and day From the fires of the homeless From the ashes of the gay Democracy is coming To the youth On a visionary flood of alcohol From the staggering account of the Sermon on the Mount Which I don't pretend to understand at all It's coming from the silence on the dark of the bay From the brave, the bold, the battered heart of Chevrolet Democracy is coming Sorrow in the streets, those holy places where the races meet. From the homicidal bitchin' that goes on in every kitchen to determine who will serve and who will eat. From the wells of disappointment where the people kneel to pray for the grace of God in the desert here in the desert far away. Democracy is coming.
coming to America first. The cradle of the best and of the worst. It's here they've got the range and the machinery for change. And it's here we've got the spiritual thirst. It's here the family is broken and it's here that the lonely say that the heart has got to open in a fundamental way. Coming to the women and the men and everyone in between, we'll be making love again. We'll be going down so deep that the river's gonna weep and the mountain's gonna cry, Amen. It's coming from the tidal flood beneath the lunar sway, imperial, mysterious, and amorous. as those garbage bags that time cannot decay. I'm junk, but I'm still holding up this little wild bouquet. Democracy is coming to the USA. So sail Great to see you, cause we thought you were dead. You come back to life, did you get out of your bed? It's great to see you, yeah it's true. It's great to see you, it's great to be near you, it's great to see you.
it's all about time sure. Thanks to Tamar and to Albany for joining us all the way from Brooklyn, New York, coming through the wire. David Penderlofkin over there, the most swinging, jazziest barrel player I've ever heard in my life. He also plays Irish music, wouldn't you know? My name is Robert Sears and Blake. This is from the kitchen table. This is the first episode of season two coming at you from the end of October when we meet again. It'll be the first of November. I don't know who the guest is going to be. I do know November 8th we'll have Jake Jolliffe piping in. We got Petunia on the line, Meg Yates on the line, and Caleb and Reber on the line. We've got a great series, so hang tight. Join us on Sunday night. This song we'd like to close with comes all the way from Cork City from the great songwriter Hank Waddell. It's great to see you. You're gonna stay here for the long night. Are you leaving at the break of day? It's great to see you. Yeah, it's true. It's great to see you. It's great to be near you. It's all about Hearts going out to Della, floating above us now. What's all about the times? Sure. It's all about the times. Sure. We'll see you next week.